You don't have to sell it to us, Rich. It's a bloody brilliant job. So, when do I start? I, I just never imagined things would go this far. <laughs> this family alive. I trusted you. Richard, what's going on? We are the bank of fortune and they're repossessing the house. We can put all this behind us and start again. There's not any money. I don't even got a place to live. Well, well, this is a great day. A great day for all of us. It's a miracle. God loves us, Deborah. He told me this is our home now. This church began because God told our fathers to live apart from the world strictly according to his law. That seems to have been forgotten recently. I want you to understand that I'm not afraid to die. It's just that I have this terrible feeling that something's wrong. God's word is law here, and he speaks through me. The sooner you learn that, the happier you'll be. I propose for patriarch, our brother, Isaac Muller's grandson by marriage, Richard Bennett. Long ago, when I drove my family down the road beyond those fields, I was a sick man, in body and in spirit. Bitter, angry, and defeated. But in this place, I found a better way. Now, I can say, with the words of the book of Genesis, chapter 32, verse 30, I have seen God face to face, and my life is preserved. He's sick. Any rational person could see that. Deborah, you know I can't listen to this. There must never be talk against a brother or sister behind their back. Family members are no exception. Without this rule, there can be no loyalty and, and thus, thus no community. Mary, I know the rules. <sighs> Would it make any difference if I told you I was sure Richard's conversion was genuine? I'd still want to leave. And what if you did? Where would you live? How would you look after Charlie? Despite everything, our way of life is under threat. We should have no illusions. Unless something is done, now, this community will disappear within a generation. Too many of our people have already left us. No longer certain what we stand for. This is our last chance for a fresh start. We can renew ourselves or die. There can be no more compromises with an outside world that despises and fears our way of life and would destroy us if it could. Believe me, there is no middle way. We can choose damnation or we can choose the path of righteousness. I'll stay for as long as I think I can help him. But I don't want Charlie to be unhappy. If only you'd try a little harder to settle in. Oh, Deborah, it's all right, I'm okay. Mary, I have to know that you're my friend. I'm sorry, I'll come back later. It's
It's all right. I was just leaving. Sister? I am not your bloody sister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry you didn't deserve that. I couldn't help overhearing some of what you said to Sister Mary. I just wanted you to know that I'm your friend, Deborah. No, I mean it. You can trust me. Do anything for you. Thank you. You know this is madness. It's God's will. Leo's using you for his own ends. It's my destiny. Stop talking like some kind of Old Testament prophet. It's ridiculous. This whole farce is about a few fundamentalists who want to take what's good about this place and, and turn it into something mean and dogmatic. You've been put up as a front for them. Surely you can see that. I can't do this without your help, Deborah. I want you to be at my right hand. Listen to yourself, Richard. Can you hear what you sound like? about leaving with Charlie. I want my daughter to be among the saved. You can't keep her here. You can leave if you want to. If you go, you go alone. I'm taking her with me. No, Deborah, you're not. I don't want that. We should be together. What's the point of pretending everything's normal between us? We can't just go on as though nothing has happened. Council of Elders has decreed that female education is no longer desirable beyond the age of 15. Any sister of that age or older may leave the class. But this is an examination here. I yes. haven't finished yet. From now on, all our younger sisters will be educated separately to ensure correct standards of modesty and decency. The school will be closed while the necessary changes are made. But what do I do now, brother? Go home, daughter, where you belong. It's a, it's a pig. It's a pig. We haven't had a pig. I'm going to have a pig because that one's mine. Okay, everyone show me your animals. Hold them up in the air. Okay, now I've got a giraffe here. He's got a giraffe. He's got a giraffe. Thank you, sister.
dying. Is this what we planned for her, Richard? A lifetime of domestic slavery? She dances to please and we can discuss whatever is upsetting you calmly. Some of those girls have places at university. A woman should be at her husband's side, helping him raise his family. You are ruining their lives. You're saving them. Rubbish! Is it, sister? Look at the outside. Where has female education led you? What's the result of 30 years of your so-called women's liberation? Single mothers, neglected children, soulless promiscuity. We are only trying to protect our women folk. That is sanctimonious crap. <coughs> Tell me you voted against this. I want my daughter to grow up knowing her duty. Especially since her mother seems to have forgotten hers. If the men can be good workers and good fathers, why can't you be just as successful? Anyone who tells you you can't do both things is nothing more than an ignorant bigot. You should see my wife when she's angry. I had a place at college. The elders say I can't go now. But I've heard about alcohol and drugs and other sinful temptations. Maybe if I leave, I'll forget my duty to God. This is where I'm safe. How many of our young women have we sent to colleges on the outside only to see them leave us for good? How many more are we going to let go before we realize they're taking our future with them? The council is guided by God. Whatever it decides is his will. It's blasphemy to argue or disobey. You can't do this. We've got a contract. You cheated us over your government's tax. How was I to know I had a dodgy accountant? The man has been sacked and I will pay back every penny. What more can I do? You are a liar, Mr. Carley. I'll sue. I'll bring the best bloody lawyers I can find down on you like a ton of bricks. My whole business depends on you bloody weirdos! Look, look, look. look. Forget I said that. I'm a businessman. Protestant, Catholic, Jew, whatever. Believe me, I couldn't give a toss. As God is my witness, I won't let you down again. For Christ's sake! Brother, Dear Addy, you take the Lord's name in the hand of this rope. Who do you Lord, think you are? Get off me! Times have changed. We don't need your type anymore. We don't need any of you! Yes, you do, mate. You can't do without the likes of me, sunshine. You've got to make a living somehow. You think about that. Sometimes force is the only thing people understand. Violence is always wrong. Calm down, brother. Please, calm down. I understand you're still upset about Sister Deborah's behavior. It's a man's duty to help his wife on the right path, but... It won't happen again, I promise you. I'm sure it won't. Pray with us, brother. I don't to school anymore. Of course you are. I don't like school here. Well, it won't be for much longer, sweetheart. You'll be going back to your old school soon. Now you must go to bed. Do you promise? Uh, cross my heart.
humiliated me in front of the whole community. You made me look ridiculous. I'm sick of you trying to undermine me. You're going to fit in. You're going to behave the way the wife of the patriarch should. There's going to be no more disobedience, no more opposition, and no more separate rooms. I've had enough of this sham of a married life. Get out. You're my wife, Deborah. You have a duty to God. I want you to stop working at the surgery. The doctor makes too many demands on you. You should think of your family first. Did you hear me? I heard. So you agree? If you think it's best. Have you been taking the pills I gave you? They give me such terrible cramp. Well, try something else then. It won't work. Pain is God's punishment. Only he can take it away. Why should God punish someone as pious as you, Elizabeth? I'm a sinner. We're all sinners, sister. Amen to that. But with faith and repentance, we can all be saved. You shouldn't have come, brother. There must be more important things to think about than my tired old bones. There are years of work left in these arms yet. Ooh, be careful, she has extreme osteoarthritis. The bones are very fragile. He can make you well, you know that, don't you? I can feel his warmth in your touch, brother. If you believe, your pain will be taken away. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light and there was light. That was Genesis. Now turn to Exodus, chapter 20, verse 11. For in six days the Lord made heaven and earth, the sea, and all that in them is. Everyone knows it wasn't like that. What did you say? The world just couldn't have been made in six days. It's just a made-up story. My father told me. The patriarch would never say anything so blasphemous. Every word of the book of Genesis is the literal truth. Every word, Charlotte. 
This book is all the history or science you'll ever need. What would your poor father think if he heard you talking like this? I don't care. I hate him. How can you say such wicked things? Go and stand outside while you think about your sinful words. too much wrong with her. Is it flu? I think it's a little more complicated than that. I'm not a psychiatrist, but I suspect Charlie's illness is psychosomatic. The result of some inner turmoil. What kind of turmoil? The best thing you can do is talk to her about things. I've given her a couple of aspirins for now, and you should let her rest in bed for a few days. There's really nothing to worry about. She's faking it. No, I didn't say that. It's a matter of words you use when you mean this. She's faking it. Get up. I said get up! Don't touch her! The child is genuinely unwell. This isn't your business anymore. I'm her doctor. Get out! This is your fault. You fill her head with questions and doubts. She's going back to school tomorrow morning, even if I have to drag her there myself. Is she asleep? Yeah. He needs help. I'll go and have a word with him. It won't do any good. He raped me. I never listened to you. I'm so sorry. I blame myself for so much of what went wrong. I thought it was my responsibility to pull him through somehow. I kept telling myself that if I was patient one morning, he would just wake up the way he used to be and we'd pack up our things and go back to our old life. But every day I have waited, he has slipped further away from me. What are you going to do? Getting Charlie out of here is the only thing that matters now. What's going on? Why did you call our brothers here? I want them to see God's mercy for themselves. Are you sure this is what you want? I'd be grateful if someone would tell me what's Raise going on. Raise your arms. Does it hurt? Open your hands. How long is it since she could do this? It's been ten years since she could even hold her own life in the walk.
walk. Oh! Oh! Mum! It's all right. I'm okay. Oh! 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 Mummy! Oh. Mum, what's wrong? Uh, uh, listen. Oh! Go and get Mary. Oh! Bring her here as quickly as you can. Oh. Don't tell anyone else! Get up. Do as I say. God be Ooh. praised. Amen, amen. A few hours. Mm. I gave you a sedative. Mm. Where's Charlie? With friends. Mm. How are you feeling now? Okay. Did you have any idea you were pregnant? How long? About six weeks. It's all right. It was God's child. The proof of his love. What? I've done everything he ever asked of me. Why would he give me this only to make it away? genuine miscarriage why wasn't I called it was hours before the doctor sent for me I don't believe it the very idea of a, a murder here is it's inconceivable has your wife confessed to the crime oh, my wife is ill she's in no condition to face what she's done I don't see anything much wrong with her you heard the way she ranted and raved at us did that sound like someone in their right mind to you I agree her words were too bitter perfectly lucid she's been showing signs of instability for some time what do you mean by instability before we came here she was obsessed with another man he was respectable and happily married he did everything he could to put her off but she convinced herself that he returned her feelings it was all in her mind 
She lost her job. Our family life was in ruins. She never forgave me for separating her from this man. I think that killing our baby is her act of revenge. Did Isaac know any of this? He told me to keep silent. He thought she'd recover in time. Then when I was chosen as his successor, it got worse. She convinced herself that I was her enemy. She turned our daughter against me. And now this. She threatened to do it if we were ever blessed with another child. Try not to blame her. She doesn't know what she's doing. Well, the doctor has no such excuse. No, I don't believe it. We all know Mary. She's a good, God-fearing woman. She worked in the Outsiders' hospitals for many years, didn't she? Well, what does that prove? Nothing in itself. Is there any doubt in your mind? What on earth is all this about? Why didn't you tell the Patriarch as soon as you knew his wife was ill? I had my patient to attend to. I called Richard when it was appropriate. Don't you think he had the right to be at her side? There wasn't time. Leo, you can't depend on a single thing this man says. He's unwell, he's... He's not stable. R Richard is unstable? Isn't it obvious? I was afraid of something like this. Happened on the outside as well. My wife sounds so rational that people believe the lies she tells them about me. She convinces them that I'm some kind of danger to her. Is that what she told you? Is that why you agreed to destroy my baby? What he's saying is the complete reverse of the truth. There was no abortion. This whole idea is the product of a sick and deluded mind. Are you really suggesting that God would choose a man in that condition to lead us? Even if we accept that Deborah's ill, we still have no evidence that this outrage actually took place. Without a confession, there is no proof of guilt. We all know the penalty for this offence. We can't take such a step without being absolutely certain. There is proof. What proof? What are you talking about? God's word. You're saying he spoke to you? Yes. How did you hear him? In exactly the same way as I hear you now. Does that seem so impossible to you, Carl? Not impossible, no. If you'd ever heard his voice yourself, I don't think you'd have any doubts. Yesterday, we saw a woman who hasn't moved from her chair in ten years get up and walk. It was a miracle, pure and simple. Which of us can doubt that God works through this man? If he says this awful crime took place, then it did. There is no room for doubt. Very well then, we'll have to vote on it. If you accept that Sister Mary Weston is guilty of the heinous sin of infanticide, raise your hand. Expulsion? You're unfit to share the company of the decent men and women of this community. But my friends, everyone I love in the world is here. Where will I go? The council is willing to let you remain here on one condition. If you confess and accept the discipline and forgiveness of the church, you can stay. But I didn't do it. It's your choice. 
You want me to perjure myself in front of the whole community? Don't talk to us about perjury! We know what happened! Did you really think that you could keep your evil hidden from God? Mary, which would you rather do? Insist on your innocence and spend the rest of your life as a stranger? Or admit the truth and stay here among the people you know? I confess that Sister Deborah Bennett persuaded me to perform an abortion on her. I took the life of an unborn child. I'm willing to face the consequences of my actions. There can be no justification for what I did. I throw myself on the mercy and justice of the church. There can be no penalty other than lifelong expulsion for a crime of this seriousness. However, we may hate the sin, yet still love the sinner. If it is your will, Mary can remain with us, and in time... No! Some crimes are beyond human forgiveness. God may take pity on Mary Weston, but we can't allow a woman capable of something like this to pollute our community. True, brother. But, brother, we agreed. Which of you brother. would put your sick child in this murderer's hands? Expulsion is the only possible punishment. The law demands it. She's condemned herself out of her own mouth. Are we going to let her stay here to do the same thing again one day? No. What's going on? Well, you should be resting, sister. You're not well enough to go out yet. Where is everybody? At the assembly hall. Where they should be. Is everything all right? There's nothing to worry about. Really? I know what you must think of me, but I didn't want this. It's not our way. No. It never used to be. Tell me you did it. I confessed, didn't I? Tell me! You know the truth already. You are guilty. God wouldn't allow this to happen if you weren't. We'll be collecting the mail from here for now. Bye. You deceived the Council of Elders. 
The vote was for forgiveness, as long as Sister Weston confessed her sin. Your intervention made that impossible. It was wrong. How can it be wrong if it was sanctioned by God? Who are we to challenge God's will? You're a man of outstanding qualities, Richard. You have a rare gift. People listen to you. But I made a mistake. You're not fitted to lead this community. I blame myself. I should have seen that the responsibility would be too much for someone so new to our ways. I thought you wanted a return to morality and discipline. Yes, but with tolerance and forgiveness, not anger and division. We're trying to build a new Jerusalem here, Leo. I want you to resign from the council. If Sister Deborah's health is as bad as you say, you'll need more time to look after her. It's better this way. I wanted change, brother. Not revolution. I don't think you appreciate the difference. We'll announce your decision at the next meeting. Go home now. You look tired. I'll finish this for you. You should be happy for him, Otto. He's with God now. He was my friend. I loved him. I am the resurrection and the life, saith the Lord. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me, shall never die. Now is Christ risen from the dead and become the first fruits of them that slept. to look for us. Come on, Mommy. We'll go down here by the road. How many more miles? Just try and keep going, darling. It'll be dark soon, brother. Keep looking. We don't know which way they went. Well, they can't have gone far. We'll search all night if we have to. Don't worry, brother. I'm sure they'll be safe.
Bruno here? We're not coming back. My daughter's not safe with her. Don't. Hold her down. No, don't. Come Leave on, her alone. Leave Come her on. alone. Leave Come her alone. On. Stop it. Leave her alone. Stop it. Come on. Get off. Leave her alone. No need to be frightened. I'm not angry with you. You know, God sees everything, Charlie. Now, we all do bad things sometimes. As long as we're sorry, as long as we learn from our mistakes, he forgives us. Are you sorry, Charlie? Yes. Is that the truth? Because God will punish you if it isn't. Do you understand that? And if you ever try anything like this ever again, it'll make you wish you'd never been born. Now, are you truly sorry? Swear it. That's weird. Then God forgives you, Charlie. And I forgive you too. looked after. If you so much as lay a finger on her, I'll kill you. I want your promise that you won't try anything like this again. Charlie and I are leaving. The first chance we get. That's a promise. Did you seriously believe I'd let you steal my child? You think I'm going to stand idly by while you make a fool of me in front of my people? <laughs> Your people? <sighs> Who do you think you are, Richard? Some sort of prophet? <laughs> a prophet is not without honor, save in his own country. Don't stand and there in quoting the Bible at me like some, some sort of jumped up street corner preacher. This community may think you just dropped out of the sky, but I know who you are. Well, I know who you used to be. Sooner or later, these people are going to realize the mistake they've made. You were born here, and yet you still don't understand anything about this place. They love me, Deborah. They need me. It's God they need. Not you! As far as they're concerned, I am God! I want to see Charlie. You've upset her. She needs to rest. You can't keep me away from her. I can do anything I like. I can make her forget she ever had a mother.
My wife is being kept under supervision for her own good. I tried to visit this morning. I was turned away. She's ill. She needs time to recover and think about what she's done. Well, if she's so unwell, shouldn't she be in the outsider's hospital? I want her here with the people who love her. You're going to deny her the kingdom of heaven just because she's sick? No, no one wants that. But if she insists on leaving, wouldn't it simply be better to let her go? <laughs> so that she can use the outside courts to steal my daughter from me. Oh, surely it wouldn't come to that. Do you know what they call us out there? Bible bashers. Fanatics. Crazy people. They're filled with prejudice and fear. They will believe anything she tells them about us. If I let her go, they'll be crawling all over us in hours. The police, the social workers, the journalists. Is that what you want? Nothing like this has ever happened to us before. Everyone is very upset. Trust me. I know what's best for this community. Why are we doing all this? Patriarch says we've been polluted by too much contact with the outside. What does he mean? All I know is he's trying to protect us from bad influences. There might be a letter from our parents in there. Don't you love them anymore? I don't think about them. How can they be a bad influence? Listen, they abandoned us. As far as I'm concerned, they don't even exist. The only family I care about is here. Is it Isaac's grave? I was supposed to see you straight back to your rooms. Richard will destroy this place if you let him. Timothy? You have got to start thinking for yourself. We really should get back now. You know Mary would never have aborted my baby. You know I'm not ill. He said not to listen to you. He said you were deluded. I'm asking you to help me. Timothy? Please? I can't. Why not? Because I want to be in heaven when I die. Please. If I help you, then I'll be excommunicated like Mary. If I'm not amongst the chosen, then I can't be saved on the day of judgment. I'll burn for eternity. You'd be doing the right thing. If I turn my back on God, then I'll go to hell. God wants you to help me. You're only saying that for your own sake. You're not a believer. They're just words to you. You once said you'd do anything for me. Did you hear us, brother? What? Are you all right? Yes, just a little time. What was you said? We were discussing the issue of Mary Weston's replacement. Yes, we've been lucky so far, but what if someone should fall seriously ill? There are the expected mothers to consider. Perhaps we should ask one of the local doctors to call. Oh, you're just like Isaac. First sign of a problem, all you can think of is turning to the outsider. I'm simply trying to be practical. Well, you'd do better to have a little faith. 
What do you mean by that? You saw how Sister Elizabeth made herself well through prayer. Oh, yes, but... She believed in me. She had faith. God rewarded her for it. Faith in you? As God's instrument. It, it, it was a miracle. Yes, none of us would deny that, but you're surely not saying that... I mean, not in every case. Illness is God's test of our faith, Carl. If you truly believe, you can recover from any disease no matter how serious. If you don't recover... Then uh, your faith was not strong enough. We don't need doctors here anymore. Jesus raised the dead. I think I can cope with a few coughs and coughs. <laughs> this um, faith of yours, brother, are you saying that the sick should be praying to God or to you? Ask Sister Elizabeth who she prayed to. And ask her if her prayers were in vain. And remember the words of Luke 18, verse 11. God, I thank thee that I am not as other men are. is allowed out. He's trying to cut us off from the outside world. Where is it going to stop, Timothy? Timothy! You've got to take it. For all our sakes. Richard, Leo taught me how to do this. I wish I had half his skill. He was a great craftsman. I'd say he was irreplaceable. But very probably, but... That's why I decided to close down the workshop. This collection will be the last. No. How will we provide for ourselves, brother? We'll farm more efficiently. We'll never be able to produce enough. There isn't enough land. Is not the life more than meat, and the body than raiment? Consider the fowls of the air, for they sow not, neither do they reap, nor gather into barns. Matthew chapter 6. Verse but... 25, I know, and it is, behold, the fowls of the air not consider. I also know about the feeding of the 5,000, in case you intended to misquote that as well. Oh, no, no, no. no. This has to stop. We think you should relieve yourself of your responsibilities. We're concerned about your health. You must resign. You and your family do not belong here. That's your opinion too, Otto. Believe me, I prayed for guidance. God speaks to me regularly, Otto. He didn't say he'd heard from you. <laughs> I was joking, brother. If I thought you knew what you were saying, I'd have you disciplined by the church for blasphemy. I think you should stand down for the good of the whole community. I am working night and day for the good of this community. I was chosen. You know as well as I do, there is no mechanism for the removal of a patriarch. A move against me is a move against God. The patriarch can be replaced if it is the will of the whole community. There are precedents. I'll help you with the post. I can manage. I need the exercise. Morning. Morning. Here are the letters. 
Come on, Timothy. Just a second, boys. I've got a parcel in the back. Right. Here we go. Sign. What? Print your name here and sign underneath. Right. Is that for me? Yes. Yes, it is. What are you doing? You shouldn't have listened to her. She's sick. A murderer. She says it isn't true. It was a miscarriage. And you believed her? Who knows how much trouble you might have caused? It's only a letter. I'll have to show it to Brother Richard. Please! It's my duty. You're my brother! Soft tea. And upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery, Babylon the Great, Mother of Whores and Abominations of the Earth. Do you really think I'm going to let you see Charlie while you're trying to turn people against me? Did she seduce you? You could have been with me in the Kingdom of Heaven. Let me stay. I can make amends. I, I swear to you, I'll never speak to her again. The trail is a cancer, brother. It has to be found and cut out before it destroys the whole body. your enemy. I never have been. If you loved me, you'd want to be with me. Richard, I do love you. That's why I can't bear to see you like this. You're ill. You need help. and go now some days I can't even remember what our life was like before it was good it can be good again feels like a dream it was real that was another person he doesn't exist anymore Everything's different. Now I have to fulfill God's plan. The day of his judgment is coming. The hour of his wrath is near. Only the chosen can be saved. There isn't going to be any day of judgment. You haven't been chosen. This is all in your mind. He spoke to me. No. You only think that he did. Oh, God. Richard. Try to remember who you were. to trick me. Uh. You want to destroy my mission. Leo Kemp couldn't stop me neither, will you? Oh, God. Tell me what happened to him was an accident. Please. You killed him. 
was the agent of God's justice. God is my witness, if you let me be with Charlie again, I won't try to leave. If you break this oath, God will find you and punish you. And you won't be the only one who suffers. She's your daughter. If anything happens to her, it will be your fault. Be careful, Deborah. Honor thy father and thy mother that the days may be long. Charlie. Has she been all right? Well, of course she has, child. What harm do you think she could come to here? Mm. He told me he was going to let me see you again. Nothing on earth could keep me away from you, sweetheart. Mm? Daddy's sick, isn't he? Very sick. And it makes him do things he doesn't mean. It's not his fault. Will he be better again soon? I don't know. I hope so. <laughs> now listen, this is Mary's address, okay? So if anything happens to me, you'll get hold of her as soon as you can and she'll look after you, all right? What kind of thing? It's all right, there's nothing to worry about. Now, you just keep that safe in case you ever need it. Don't cry, Mummy. Not crying. I was just thinking how, how beautiful everything looks today. I used to think it was nice at first. Hmm. If we ever run away again, do you think God will punish us like Daddy said? No, I don't believe that at all. So when are we going to go? We can't. He made me promise to stay. This is God's work. The 
pray for his soul. Inside you, Deborah. He's trying to weaken me. Through. I never thought it would happen so quickly. Sorry, brother, I don't understand you. The test of our faith is beginning. You'll be with me in heaven. That's all I want. The elders are speaking out against you. Some of the people are frightened. When the moment comes, they'll understand and follow us. All of his children will be saved, brother. I promise you.
I was worried about you. Mr. Richard Bennett? We'd like a quick word with Charlie's mother, sir. She's indisposed. In what way? That's none of your business. I'm afraid we must insist. You've brought my daughter back. Now you can go. You're not welcome here. This is God's place. I dare say, sir. But I don't suppose he'd mind if we had a quiet conversation with Mrs. Bennett, just to make sure that everything's all right? You've got your little runaway back, Mrs. Bennett. Thank you. Everything all right? Deborah? Everything's fine. Now give me my daughter back. She's told you everything's fine. Give her back. Are you absolutely certain that there's nothing wrong? Yes. Come on. This woman is being held against her will. Mary. Do as Daddy says, Charlie. wipe all tears from their eyes and there shall be no more death nor sorrow nor crying nor shall there be any more pain
Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord. What will you do now? Rebuild. Remember. Learn, hopefully. Mary! Doesn't it make you have any doubts? Not for a single second. Bring your mother back to see us someday. You'll never die. Is that true, Mum? I don't know, Charlie. 